hurricane will spout till you have drenched our steeples around the cocks. You sulfurous and thought executing fires, boss courtiers of oak cleaving thunderbolts, singe my white head. And thou, all raging thunder, strike black the thick rotundity of the world! Oh, spirit, oh, hell! I see you all are bent to set against me for your merriment! If you were civil and your courtesy, you would not do me that much injury. Can you not hate me, as I know you do? But you must join souls to mock me too. If you were men, as you are in show, you would not use a gentle lady so. To vow and swear and super praise my part, when I'm sure you hate me with your heart. I have of late, and wherefore I know all too well, lost all my mirth, forgone all custom of exercises, and indeed it weighs so heavily on my disposition that this goodly frame, the earth, seems to me a sterile promontory. This most excellent canopy, the air, look you, the brave or hanging firmament, majestical roof, fretted with golden fire. Why, it seems no more to me than a foul and pestilent congregation of vapors. What a piece of work is man! How noble in reason, how infinite in faculty. In form and moving, how express and admirable. In action, how like an angel. In apprehension, how like a god. The beauty of the world, the paragon of animals. Yet to me, what is this quintessence of dust? Man delights not me. Alas, poor York. I knew him, Horatio. A fellow of infinite jest, of most excellent fancy. He hath borne me on his back a thousand times, and now how bored in my imagination it is. Here hung those lips that I had kissed I know not how oft. Have I not reason, beldams as you are, saucy and overbold? How did you dare to trade in traffic with Macbeth in riddles and affairs of death? And I, the mistress of your charms, the close contriver of all harms, was never called to bear my part or show the glory of our art. And what is worse, all you have done hath been but for a wayward son, spiteful and wrathful who, as others do, loves for his own ends, not for you. But make amends now, get to you gone, and at the pit of Acheron meet me in the morning. Thither he will come to know his destiny. Your vessels and your spells provide your charms and everything beside. I am for the air. This night I'll spend unto a dismal and fatal end. When tis done, and for well it were done quickly. If the assassination could trammel up the consequence and catch with this a sea success, that blow might be the be all in the end all here. But here, upon this bank and shoal of time, we jump the life to come. But in these cases, we still have judgment here that we might teach with bloody instructions, which being taught, we turn to plague the inventor. This even hand in justice commends the ingredients of our poisoned child. Thank you.
Sorry. Sorry am I not for these heinous deeds, but that I had not done a thousand more. Even now, I curse the day. And yet I think few come within the compass of my curse. Wherein I did not some notorious ill as kill a man or else devise his death. Ravish a maid or plot the way to do it. Accuse some innocent for swear myself. It's a deadly enmity between two friends. Make poor men's cattle break their necks. Uh, set fire on, on barns and haystacks in the night and bid the owners quench them with their tears. Oft have I digged up dead men from their graves and set them upright at their dear friends' doors, even when their sorrows almost were forgotten. And on their skins as on the bark of trees have with my knife carved in Roman letters, let not your sorrows die, though I'm dead. I've done a thousand dreadful things, as willingly as one would kill a fly. And nothing grieves me heartily indeed, but I cannot do 10,000 more. If one good deed in all my life I did I do repent it from my very soul. Are we getting on with this or what? <laughs>